Introduction to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Boot Volumes and Block Storage Hi, I hear about the boot volumes for compute. What makes the feature distinct from the traditional boot disks? Boot volumes are created and managed by Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Block Volumes and offer many significant improvements over traditional local boot disks. When you launch a virtual machine, VM, or bare metal instance based on an Oracle-provided image or custom image, a new boot volume for the instance is created in the same compartment via remote mounting. Boot volumes are also packed with efficiency features. You can preserve the boot disk content by optionally keeping it when you terminate a compute instance. You get highly durable boot disks. You can scale compute instances through boot volumes and launch instances faster. You get default encryption for all boot volumes. And you could troubleshoot or repair your boot disks and OS images easily. Additionally, boot volumes allow you to create significantly faster custom images of running VMs without having to reboot. What are the performance characteristics of boot volumes? Boot volumes are standard Oracle OS image size by default and offer 3,000 IOPS and 24 megabytes per second throughput with sub-millisecond latency for 50 GB boot volumes. This performance is independent of workload type for all read and write distributions. The performance scales higher with larger boot volumes per block volume performance characteristics, 60 IOPS per gigabyte, and 480 kilobytes per second per gigabyte throughput, up to a maximum of 25,000 IOPS and 320 megabytes per second throughput per volume. I have some legacy applications deployed to the system drive on my Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Compute instance, which take up a lot of space. Is there an option to resize the boot volumes? Sure. You now have an option to customize the boot volume size to be equal to or larger than the size of the selected OS image, up to a maximum of 32 terabytes in 1 gigabyte increments. How durable are these boot volumes? All boot volumes continue to be NVMe SSD-based with best-in-class block storage performance, with all the advantages of block volumes, including backup and clone capabilities, and the same SLA of highly durable block volumes. Your boot volumes persist, independent of the life cycle of your compute instance. Boot volumes are only terminated when you manually delete them. Interesting. Please tell me more about boot volume backups. You can create a point-in-time crash consistent backup of a boot volume without application interruption or downtime from the compute page in your Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console or through the API CLI. The backup will be associated with the boot volume it was created from. Boot volume backups can be initiated in two ways. Manual backups. When launching a manual backup, you can specify whether an incremental or full backup should be performed. Policy-based backups. These are automated, scheduled backups. Each backup policy has a set backup frequency and retention period. There are three predefined policies, bronze, silver, and gold. I understand the backup options. Do I have the option to clone the boot volume too? Yes. You can create a clone from a boot volume using Oracle Cloud Infrastructure block volumes. Cloning enables you to quickly provision an exact, isolated copy of a running instance without needing to go through the backup and restore process. Here are a few points to be remembered while cloning a boot volume. Combined with volume groups, you can create point-in-time consistent backups and clones of your running enterprise applications that span multiple instances and storage volumes across one or more compute instances while they are online without any downtime. You can use the cloned boot volume as soon as the state changes to available, as the clone operation occurs immediately. You can only create a clone for a boot volume within the same region, availability domain, and tenant. You can create a clone for a boot volume between compartments, as long as you have the required access permissions for the operation. Great! I can either back up my instance and keep it for future restore, or clone it and use the clone immediately. 
Can you demonstrate how to manage boot volumes through the console? Sure. Log into the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Portal. Select the Unified Navigation menu at the top left corner. A boot volume is created automatically when you launch a compute instance. The instance is live within a minute. You can see the details of the boot volume and manage it from the instance page in the Compute tab of the console. When you terminate a compute instance, you have the option to save its boot volume. You can launch a new instance, bare metal or VM, with the same or different shape from the original one you had, using the boot volume you saved. To back up a boot volume, select Compute and click Boot Volumes. Click the boot volume for which you want to create a backup. Under the Resources section, click Backups and then click Create Backup. Enter a name for the backup and click Create Backup. The backup of the boot volume becomes available. To assign a backup policy to a boot volume, in Backup Policy field, click on Assign. Select the suitable backup policy from the three predefined policies. Backups for the boot volume will happen automatically and will be retained based on the policy you selected. Under the Resources section, click Clones and then click Create Clone. Enter a name for the clone and click Create Clone. The cloned boot volume is now available. Thanks for the exhaustive overview. You are welcome. These new capabilities are provided at no additional cost to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure customers. Please go to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure portal to learn more. Be sure to sign up for the free trial and get started right away.